Hello everyone, welcome to Ikita platform and this is Ravin Jangit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I'm going to talk about the misfire which is another mull function uh, in your HVDC systems. So we will talk one by one what is the misfire. It is kind of similar to your uh, commutation failure and also the R throw. So these are the misfire R through and the commutation failure all are kind of the similar things. Okay, so we will discuss what is exactly the misfire. So if we talk about the misfire, then in the misfire, we generally take that, uh, let us say there are the five, six uh, thyristors are uh, operating or conducting. Let us consider a six pulse thyristor. So if we consider the six pulse thyristor, so at a time the two uh, thyristors are going to be operated. So let us say the only the wall or you can say the thyristors, the 5-6 thyristor is operating. The next one will be 6-1, next one will be 1-2, next one will be 2 and 3. Likewise, it is going to be operating. And at some uh, some of the time, when uh, let us suppose 5-6 operated and then the 6-1 operated when the 1 is fired. Now the 1 and 2 will operate if the 2 is fired. While firing the 2, it due to the some condition it misses the firing so it is not going to conduct it means the same six and one thyristor which were already are conducting are going to conduct in the further inter interval of time till the next thyristor that is the wall number three is conducting okay so there is a due to the misfiring due to this miring, uh, misfiring so you can clearly relate that the firing of the firing of any thyristor is misses due to the some conditions and when it is miss, uh, missing of the firing is done and due to that the already conducting the thyristors will conduct for some more duration of time and due to which what will happen and what is actually actually I have talked about we will discuss one by one. So let's uh, start uh, these points reading these points. What is exactly saying these are actually the important point which I have included here. So we will discuss one by one. Now, that is it is saying that the generally it is occurring when required the gate pulse is missing. Whatever the as only the two thyristors or only the two walls are conducting at the same time for operating for another uh, combination and then another combination we every time we require and after the some interval of time we require the firing of the thyristor and if that firing is missed that is called the misfire okay so now so get pulse is missing and the incoming wall is unable to fire it means whatever the incoming wall is uh, to be fired that is unable to fired and at that time is called the when the firing is missing and when the due to the firing is missing the conduction is missing and that process is called the misfire and that is actually the mull function or a mull operation of your HVDC system. Now the occurrence of the misfire is generally very low in the modern converter stations. It is a specified that if we are using adhesion in the innovative uh, modern converter stations we are actually using the some other uh, equipments or the polytonics devices that's why due to these devices and de due to these innovations the misfiring the chances of misfiring the probability of chances of misfire is actually reduced and because of uh, that is the duplicate converter stations monitoring and the protective firing of the walls so this is all about the duplicate converter stations monitoring and the protective firing of the walls now it is saying the misfire misfire can occur in both the cases rectifier and the inverter stations okay so that is it is saying that the mull, mull operation that is a misfire here it can be operated in both the converters both the converters in the same you are having the rectifier you are having the inverter in both the converters it may be a chances of the misfire also and uh, if this is occurring actually then effects are more severe in the inverter so if we are taking into considerations that it is operating in and it is occurring in both the converter stations 
so where it will be a severe to uh, to we see here that is in the inverter now next the misfire in the inverter or if the misfire is persistent or continued for the some duration of time it may lead to the average bridge voltage is going to zero and ac voltage is injected into the system i hope uh, you have understood so uh, it is important one please mark it as star if the misfire in the inverter let us say the misfiring is occurred in the inverter so if it is persisting for some more durations it is operating misfire due to the misfire the already conducting thyristors will conduct for the some more duration of time and if it is some more duration of time it may lead to the average bridge voltage going to be zero so i can say that is the average bridge voltage is going to be zero here and along with that the ac voltage is injected into the system so ac voltage is going to be injected into the system now next the which causes the large currents which causes and if it is happening this will cause the large currents and the voltage oscillations in the dc links we are having the dc links in between the two converter stations if it is this is happening if this is happening then which will cause the large currents so huge amount of current and the huge amount of voltage oscillations are going to be seen there which will have the high frequency of oscillations so it presents the lightly damped oscillatory circuit viewed from the converter now the dc current may even extinguished and result in the large over voltages across the voltage pause that is due to using the some protective schemes or the circuit breakers we can extinguish uh, the dc current but what will happen this may result to the large over voltages across the wall so the wall will have the large over voltage value if the v if we are extinguishing the dc current now so what are the exactly the effects of the misfire if it is a single misfire if it is taking in the one cycle then if it is single misfire what is the exactly the effects are kind of the similar effects to those the commutation failure and the r through we have already discussed that the r through is kind of the commutation failure so i can relate that the misfire if it is a single misfire is occurring then due to the single misfire the commutation failure and it is kind of the r through also now if we are taking the six pulse converter if we are taking the six pulse converter the wall 3 is fired okay wall 3 is misfired written here not the fired is written wall 3 is misfired the wall 1 and 2 left conducting whatever the conduction was before the wall 3 to be operated one second i can draw it in clear way so let us uh, some for more duration the wall number uh, the four, six and one was operating okay and after this interval after this interval the two is fired the wall number two is fired so wall number two is fired then now we will have the conduction of the one and two so one uh, one from the upper leg and one from the lower portion lower commutation portion or positive commutation from the positive commutation process and the negative commutation process now what happens now what happens as a one and two are operating and we know now the wall number three will operate so wall number three to operate so as the wall the wall number one will operate for the 60 degree conduction and after the 60 degree conduction the wall three to be fired so now here i have fired the wall number three if i fired the wall number three and if due to these conditions if it is misfired then what will happen the three will, will not operate or will not conduct only the one two start to conduct again so one two was already conducting before the uh, before the wall three which were we are uh, interested in firing but due to the misfire the one two which were already conducting as now st start conducting again so that is one and two are conducting for some more duration of time 
and it will conduct to for till the wall number four is fired. Now let us say here the wall number four is fired. So it will conduct so for so one and two will only conduct till the wall number four is fired. It is so it is until the wall number four is fired. Now what will happen? Which wall are going to be conducted? If it is four to be fired, then one will be odd again. So it will be one only. So here one is operating here. Likewise, it is going to be happen. So this is kind of the misfiring is. Uh, you have to remember this uh, thing that if the firing is missing, then the already operating, already conducting walls will continue to operate for some more duration of time. However, at the end of the cycle, if the complete cycle is processed, the complete cycle that six one one two two three two, four three four four five and five six this is the one cycle to be operated if that one cycle that is the one 360 degree that is 360 degree operation is completed then all will be in the normal conditions so the normal sequence that's why we are actually uh, uh, saying that it is not causing uh, so much adverse effect to our system normal sequence of the wall firing is uh, restored please note this so it is kind of you uh, you are not applying any external uh, equipments or external schemes to to be restoring it it is already stored so i can clearly mention that that it is a self clearing so i can say that is a single if there is a single misfire it is kind of the self clearing now we will look upon uh, these waveforms it is in the dc voltage and this is a uh, time in seconds this is the DC current and this is the time in second. So this is kind of the misfiring if I am relating with the, pers if the persistent misfiring is done. So this graph is representing the persistent misfiring for the DC voltage okay, uh, versus time. And this is the DC current versus time. So I hope you have understood all the concepts related with the misfire. So Tata bye bye and thank you so much.